What's up guys, Mike here, and in the last episode of Resident Evil 4, we dealt with our BFF, and no, I don't mean our best friend forever, we dealt with a big fucking fish. But now, here on episode 7 of Resident Evil 4, we are going to be starting up chapter 2. So let's load our save file and get started, guys. It's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. Damn, you seriously need to get that shit checked out. Let's see, nothing unusual here. What we got? Anything else interesting that we can grab from this house besides the typewriter? Anonymous letter. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you are able to get it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church is not a walk in the park by any means. They deploy what is called an El Gigante. So God bless. About what's been going on with your body. If I could help you, I would. But unfortunately, it's beyond my power. Well, that was a nice letter. But seriously, you need to get that shit fucking checked out. Well, we might as well just save here just to go ahead and bring ourselves into the next chapter here. As for our inventory, we have nine handgun bullets, two shotgun bullets, and 50 TMP bullets, but plenty of ammo for the handgun and TMP. So I'm honestly gonna refill though, and we will get started with figuring out where to go next from here. Also, is there a way I can go back and actually check out? Yes, yes we can. Ooh, and we have a merchant up ahead. What's good, Mr. Merchant? Is this where the treasure is as well, or is this just for fun? Yeah, the merchant is in here with the treasure, so... Well, it's in the shop entrance, so it's got to be around here somewhere. Anyway, let's see what you have. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? We can upgrade our shotgun a bit. Oh, let's see, capacity. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Where? Hmm. Stuff we gotta be somewhere around here. A little more ammo? Why not? We would always use more ammo. Oh, there's a lot. There's gotta be a way to get up there somehow. That's gotta be on the roof. Ah. And so the truth is revealed. Ooh, we got a green gem very nice now as in terms of that green gem I think 
we may be able to take the green gem and combine it with this. That's looking mighty fine. And also, that reminds me, we do actually have two little things we can sell here, so... We might as well sell that. We might actually be able to get that firepower upgrade on our shotgun after all. Or at least get some first aid spray, because Leon does not look too good right now. Leon looks like utter shit. What are you selling? Antique pipe. Uh, Old bangle. Uh, what are you get ourselves some serious Is help. We can only get one, what and we don't even have it? enough for the shotgun upgrade. Oh, we actually do. <laughs> Not bad. 5.0 firepower on that shotgun? Well, hello. And we got 10 fresh bullets to go with it, so... I'm gonna do that. Now, I just realized I could have easily freaking did the other thing, but... I'm not gonna worry about that. We got ourselves some really good stuff there. We will be able to figure out what's going on in this episode. We'll try to see what else we could possibly pull off here. I'm pretty sure I'm heading towards the right way. Yeah, we're basically good. Thank you guys for the boat. I'm going to go back in here and save. And then we will get started with where we are going to go next. Which looked like a waterfall from what that letter told us. But seriously, I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough so far as much as I am. Because this is a really awesome game. Friggin, this game... When I was playing this on the GameCube, I must have been like at least 11 years old. But this game still has a lot of good memories to it for me. And that does not look good. Ooh! Well, welcome to your new enemies, guys. Zombies aren't just gonna have... Zombies aren't gonna just be normal anymore. And now we gotta deal with zombies that actually have parasites coming out of their head. Although that was worth 5,000, so that's not bad. You're gonna have one inside your head. Nope. I'll take that 900 PT. I'll take that 900 gold, though. Now you gotta do some platforming. Again, I don't know why the frame rate is like slowly going down, but I am apologizing for that. And for some reason, Leon is just running at like 30 frames per second right now. I don't know why that is. This game should be running at a smooth 60 frames at 1080p. Well, I already hear people throwing crap at me, so let's just see what we're dealing with. Alright, so now it looks like we're going to have to shoot some crates to get across this river here. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a treasure around here. That there is. I am going to keep my eye on it. Yep, it's here in the middle. Now, I am pretty sure that glittering thing on top of the bridge over there is our treasure. Ooh, amber ring. Very nice. I don't know where I'm going, but I'll figure it out from here. Oh yeah, I have to head over the now I remember. Gotta go back over here. If this game can cooperate and not be running at like a crappy choppy 40 frames per second right now. Oh 
No, maybe the game is running too crazy for uh, motion blur. I'll just take motion blur off, nothing else. I don't know if it's the computer or if it's play claw, but something's causing it. I am trying to remember off the top of my head what I'm supposed to do here. I know it has something to do with that crank over there. Or, you know, just come up here and remember that there's a box. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, slice this barrel open. Get myself absolutely nothing from that. And we will go ahead and operate this freaking thing and we will hopefully stop the waterfall. Alright, hot stuff. Alright, now, now we can start heading over and taking care of what's inside this waterfall. Or, you know, we can deal with another horde of enemies first. Fuck it, we got the extra firepower. I don't mind wasting my bullets to show off how much more powerful this is. I really get way too obsessed with using my shotgun. And apparently someone's playing Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, are we gonna see anything interesting here? Well, take the round insignia. All right, so I guess this is the way back to the village. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Alright, so on we go back to the church. Let's get some gold before we hit the road and let's get going. Ooh, and we got another merchant. Actually, no, this is the merchant that we had back at the other village. Got a selection of good that what are you selling? I might as well just sell the um, amber ring anyway, just to get the point, ah, just to get the extra gold in there. You. Might as well save while we're here, too. Because I have a feeling we're going to be dealing with some crazy stuff up ahead.
¡Rápido! 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 ¡Usa los músculos! ¡Rápido! Oh my god, what the fuck are they pulling on? What the hell? It's fucking Gollum on steroids! Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you El Gigante! cut out for me that's for sure uh basically the point of this boss fight aim for the head when he gets close run also going in here and grabbing everything that you possibly can now is essential also I don't I think if you hide in here I don't think he'll notice you Never mind, scratch that theory. Hey, it's that dog. Yep, and here's the dog that we saved in the very first episode of our playthrough, guys. You can tell because he's got the blood on his leg. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Just let me get my handgun bullets and I'll put you to sleep. Again, I should have probably been smart about this and bought myself a first aid kit. But you know what? Screw it. Say hello to my little friend. Oof. Talk about your back problems. Come on, what you got there, you slow ass freaking monster? Oh fuck. Put it down, down. Bad monster. Well, I didn't do crap to it. is always good down bad giant thing uh, if you're not careful that'll basically happen though so basically It's better to just shoot the thing on its back, by the way, instead of doing what it tells you to do and climb on its back. Now this guy is basically screwed. He is done for. But that was totally worth it. I don't care how much ammo you use on this guy. You want to know why it was worth killing this thing? 15,000 gold from that. That is a freaking awesome reward for killing such a big fucking monster. We got 39,000 gold. Now if we look at our map, we basically have to find out that we have to go back that way. Let 
Let me edit. Let me mess with my uh, case a little bit here. Put these like so. Put that here. And we are all pretty much set. We have some extra TMP ammo, so you know maybe I'll use the TMP a little bit. Although upgrading that Punisher handgun is going to be essential. I thought we read another part of the game, but we're not there yet. I forgot. This is after we rescue Ashley, what I'm thinking about. All right, more crates. Alright, so we were gonna now we can go into the church and save Ashley. Okay, I see something I see a dog up ahead. I don't know if I should blame it though. It's, yeah, this dog this dog is not exactly the best idea right now. Yeah, this isn't the friendly wolf anymore. That's why I just spam my TMP out, because those things will tackle you, and they will rip you apart. Those dogs are no joke. Uh, we we are definitely inside the church, and this looks kind of creepy. But we are gonna go explore and see what's in these barrels here on the side before heading up and trying to find where Ashley is kept. Last that was the only barrel, so we can just head up here. All right, let's see, and, and I completely fucked that up. Let's try that again. For some reason, the chandelier part always screwed me up when it came to jumping across this thing. This might take me a few tries. Although Ash is kind of fucked if this is the best I could do with platforming. Come on, we can do better than this. There we freaking go. What's this? So basically the point of this puzzle is to get all of the different colors to here to basically combine together and make this thing into the whole entire picture here. There's only so many combinations we can try. I'm pretty sure the green one's supposed to be at the left. I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be up there and the red. Right, let's try this. Well, basically this is mostly trial and error here. 
But I'm pretty sure the red one's gotta be up there, the green one should be over there, and then I think the blue one should be at the right. Close. Close. I'm pretty sure the green one, let's see, that doesn't work, then, yeah, the green one has to stay to the left, the red one has to go up, I'm pretty sure the blue one also has to go down. Note that I completely screwed it up. We will figure this out, guys. I promise you. Just bear with me here. We will figure this out. When in doubt, do every combination possible. Alright, let's mess with the red one then. I think it's the red one I gotta mess with a little bit in order to get it to go. Just like that. Alright. So for future reference, the red one... Hold on, I will, I will point my light at, I will point the thing at it. But yeah, blue goes to the right. No, hold on, I'm gonna, red goes down. Well, I guess we could just head down, by the way. So yeah, red goes down, green goes to the left, and blue goes to the right. Alright, she's on a she is still on the second floor, so her Ashley should hopefully be on the second floor somewhere. Yep, she must be in here then. And now you'll see why I picked special costume A. Ashley. Don't come. Hey, take it easy. Nice outfit, Ashley. No. Get away. Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. That I asked. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. So yeah, now this now begins the freaking complicated freaking part of our journey where we have to deal with Ashley. So basically, if we press the right bumper, we can make Ashley follow us or wait. So, yeah, Ashley has her own health bar. So basically, if Ashley dies, we're pretty much fucked. I would not recommend giving Ashley any health whatsoever, because for most of this adventure, she'll probably end up... I guarantee, something always happens to the damsel in distress through most of this freaking adventure. Who knows? That's just a theory. A game theory. Anyway, thanks for freaking watching this episode. Hopefully we are going to make it further in here before I call it quits. But yeah, basically the outfits that you see Leon and Ashley wearing right now are basically part of what you get when you end up beating I the game. But take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community what do you want to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power of course no longer will the united states think they can police the world forever so we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back no Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Nice glitch oh, on the chandelier, by going the way. To be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. 
Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith in money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift when I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your mind. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. mess we can get out of it well that's some fucking crazy shit that's gonna go on huh anyway guys that's gonna do it for this episode but if you guys enjoyed this playthrough of Resident Evil 4 so far definitely leave a like comment subscribe share this video with whoever, with whoever you possibly can let people know you guys are enjoying my playthrough and until the next episode guys take care Thank you guys for checking out my video today. If you guys like what you see here, definitely smash that subscribe button to see more content from my channel in the future. Also, please don't forget to check out my friends over at Video Game Tidbits. They write amazing articles on their website. All links to my media pages, including my Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch are all in the links in the description below. But until the next video, guys, take care.